Welcome back guys. In this video, we're given this parabola here and we have to find the equation for the parabola and state some characteristics. So the vertex axis of symmetry, direction of opening, and the domain and range. Now notice in this parabola here, we're given the x-intercepts, negative 5 and 7, and we're also given the maximum value of it. So we know that the y value of the vertex is going to be 72. But notice we don't really know where the x value of the vertex is. However, because we're given the intercepts, we can find the x value of the vertex by just adding the intercepts and dividing by 2. So negative 5 plus 7 divided by 2 would give you 2 over 2, which would give you 1. So we know that the x value of the vertex is 1. That's right in the middle of the intercepts. The distance from negative 5 to 1 is 6, and then the distance from 1 to 7 is 6. So you know it's right in the middle there. And then the vertex always cuts the uh, parabola in half. So let's um, get the equations first. Now, there's multiple equations that we can get. We can get the standard form equation. We can get the factored form, which is x minus r, x minus s, where r and s are the intercepts. And then we can get the vertex form, which is x minus h squared plus k. Now, usually, if you're given just the intercepts and then a point on the parabola somewhere, you want to get the factored form. However, if you're given the vertex and another point, you can get the vector form. Notice we're given both, so we can do either or. So let's first start off with the um, factored form. So what we would do is we put the a there, and then this x-intercept of negative 5, that means the factor would be x plus 5, because the x the factor is always x minus the x-intercept, so x minus negative 5 would give us x plus 5. And then x minus s, x minus 7, that's the other intercept, and it's positive 7, so it's the opposite sign. And then to solve for this a value, what we can do is we can plug in the vertex, the coordinates of the vertex. To solve for this a value for x and y, you want to plug in coordinates of a point other than the intercepts. So 1 and 72 work, so if we plug in 72 for y, then 1 for x, what would we get here? We would have 6 times negative 6, which, is, which would give us negative 36. So dividing both sides by negative 36 to get the a by itself, we would get an a value of negative 2. Okay, so the factored form equation would be negative 2 bracket x plus 5, x minus 7. So that's one way to get the equation. What if we wanted to get the vector equation, this format right here? Well, a couple of things we could do. We can expand all of this, put it into standard form, and then from standard form we can complete the square. So going from standard form to uh, vector form, one way to do that is completing the square. And we're going to be doing more of that in future sections. But I uh, thought I would just let you know here. And then to go from uh, factored form or uh, vertex form to standard form, all we have to do is expand. So that's one way. We can expand this, put it into standard form, and then complete the square. Or because we're already given the vertex 1 and 72, we could just plug that in, so we could have x minus 1 squared plus 72. Right from here, we could tell the vertex is 1 and 72. Now to solve for this a value, you got to pick a point other than the vertex. So an easy point to pick is one of the intercepts. So let's say we pick uh, this intercept, 7 and 0. No matter which one you pick, whether negative 5 or 7, when you plug it in here, you're going to get that same a value. So um, the y value of the intercept is 0, then the x value of the intercept is 7. 
So what would we have here? This would be um, seven minus one is uh, 30, uh, six, six squared is 36. Bring the negative, the positive 72 over, it becomes negative 72. So the A value is negative two, again. All right, so from here, we can tell vertex form is negative two, x minus one squared plus 72. So that is another format for the equation. And what if we want a standard form? Well, we can just take one of these and expand it. Either or will give us the same answer. They're both the same quadratic. So let's expand the factor form. So you've got negative two, x plus five times x minus seven, that would give us x squared uh, minus two x minus 35. And then distribute that negative inside the bracket. So negative two x squared plus four x uh, plus 70. That is the standard form. So that's here. All right, so multiple ways to get different formats for uh, this quadratic if you're given a diagram. But one thing we didn't really do is complete the square. We're going to be doing that, as I mentioned, in future sections. So I'm not going to cover that in this video. Right, so three different equations for the same quadratic, three different formats. All right, now what are some of the characteristics that they want? So they want the vertex. Well, vertex, we already know, it's one in 72. Notice again, in this question, we have to find the vertex. We have to find that X value by taking the midpoint between the intercepts. A lot of times they'll give you the vertex. So you would just simply plug in that coordinate. What is the axis of symmetry? Well, it's always equal to x. The equation is x is equal to the x value of the vertex, which is 1. Right? So vertical line that cuts that parabola in half. Uh, what's the direction of the opening? Well, because that a value is always negative, and we can see from the diagram, parabola opens down. It also means that the second differences are going to be constant, but they're going to be negative. Right? Whenever a parabola is opening down, Second differences are negative whenever it's opening up. Second differences are positive. And then domain and the range. Um, domain is always XER for a parabola. Range is YER, but Y has to be less than or equal to the Y value of the vertex, which is 72. And it's less than or equal to because the parabola is opening down. Right, so here are the characteristics. Here are three different formats for the equation.